writing a song is easy, right? All you gotta do is play three chords, crank the bass, and sing some words. I went to the store to see. Music. How's it going, everyone? This is Spencer Davis. I'm a music producer, I'm a guitarist, a beat maker, and a synth enthusiast. And today what I want to show you guys is a beat I made a few days ago with a couple friends and how the process that we followed in order to make that beat. I find it really interesting to watch other people make music because it inspires me, it shows me new ways to do it, and it just overall is a lot of fun. So if you're interested, don't click away because we're going to make a really awesome beat. So we started this one off by recording a guitar riff my friend Gene came up with. <laughs> then let me double check my interface settings to make sure nothing's out of whack. Do you know what kind of BPM you're looking for? Can you play it? After we did that, we decided to add some percussive elements. Okay. Once we added the percussion, we decided to add a lead guitar line. So whenever you are ready, you just hit the circle button at the top of the screen. Gives me a two bar count? Yeah. I undo. Uh, just control Z. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Alright. At this point, we knew we were on to something, to the point that even my dog enjoyed it. Maple. Look at that dog. After a much deserved break, we decided to add some keyboard, but soon found dissatisfaction in our percussion. We recorded a lead part, didn't we? Yes. We're going to try and get keys. Maybe change the drum beat. You think we should change it? What do you want different? The hats? I just don't like the open hat. It opens on four at one time, and then the oh, time it opens that's four. Like... In the end, we just got rid of the hi hat. We we're gonna add keys? Yes. What are you feeling, like a Rhodes, or are you feeling like a synth? Um, just, just go to a Rhodes. That sounds like spooky. 
Yeah. Uh, that actually could work. Were you looking for something with reverb? Specifically, or just... Just something to fit the track. Right. The timbre of the instruments has to interact. You don't want it to really. clash too much. Exactly. Pro producer tip for you, whenever you're making your songs, make sure that your sounds really fit each other like a puzzle. If they don't fit each other, it doesn't matter how good your mix or master is, it's still not going to sound as good as it could. So now we can add the MIDI notes in the actual sequence. You leave the bass with that left hand. After we added the keys, we decided that it would be really cool if we added a choir effect over the B section. So I went ahead, hooked up the microphone, and recorded a few takes. I'm just going to record a few different parts. I'll probably do four and just layer them. It was a soprano. So fly away with me. Yeah. So that's the process that we followed. I considered showing you guys the final beat, but I think the incredible thing about music is it's not really about the finished product. It's really more about the process, the enjoyment, the feeling, and we've really captured that in this video. So if you enjoyed that, if you want more content like this, then please like the video, leave me a comment and tell me what you enjoyed about it, and please subscribe to spread me and my content further so that more people can enjoy what you just enjoyed. Thank you so much and have a great day.